New developments tonight after the discovery of human remains at Kanaw Falls. Based on the location where they found the body, detectives say they might belong to Sue Roop, who went missing in 1979. Tonight, the woman who babysat for Roop's children is speaking publicly for the first time. She later married Roop's ex-husband, Raymond. Tonight, she tells WVVA's Annie Moore why she believes he is Sue's killer. Secrets often lie at the heart of unsolved mysteries. Witnesses die, memories fade, but then a new discovery turns the case upside down. So many dreams and ideas and things just go through your mind of, that this could be, you know, finally my mother. See, Roop seemingly vanished just before Valentine's Day in February of 1979. It was just before the woman she trusted to watch her children, Christina Hudnall, married her ex-husband, Raymond Roop. He could change just like that. There was a look in his eyes, and I don't know how to describe it. It was like nobody was home. The marriage wouldn't last, she said, but it was something he told her in 1980 that she says she'll remember forever. That day he left, he took our car, but then he got another vehicle. And I don't know whose or what vehicle it was, but he did tell me it was in a vehicle where he killed her. So you feel confident it's him? Yeah. Oh, I feel that. I feel it in my soul. While she claims her ex-husband told her he killed Sue Roop, there was never a body to prove it. Now detectives are wondering if the remains found at Kanawha Falls could be the missing link in a decades-old mystery. He knows the area. He's hunted it. It's close by, but the timing of that day, as best as I can remember, it would be right. You think that's Sue Roop? I feel like it is. I hope that it is so that this nightmare can come to an end. Jessica Roop was just seven years old when she last saw her mother. Now she dreams of the day when she can visit her final resting place. I will tell her every story of everything of every moment of my life, of my children's life, my grandchildren. That she missed. Yeah. Courtney, Captain Sizemore is really chipping off the ice on this decades-old cold case. Tonight, he tells me that the bones found at Kanawha Falls may be a complete set, but it's too early to tell whether they belong to Sue Roop. According to Captain Sizemore, there's only one witness so far that saw Roop get into a car that day. Tonight, he's looking for more. Anybody that was around back then in 1979, 1980, uh, they may have seen Sue Roop getting into a vehicle. They may have some information about the vehicle that she got into. As of right now, we have one person that saw her getting into a vehicle back then. There may have been someone else.